Welcome to Talk Law Radio with attorney Todd Marquardt of the Marquardt Law Firm at MarquardtLawFirm.com. Welcome to Talk Law Radio. I'm Todd Marquardt, and we're talking about medicine, faith, healing, power of prayer, and the law, just a little bit about the law. And uh, I'm here with uh, Dr. Musa. Both of them are physicians, uh, Dr. Adetone Musa and Dr. Hussein Musa. And we just got through talking about the power of prayer, but you wanted to mention a study. Yes, and uh, they're actually a collection of studies, but uh, your verse in James mentioned laying on of hands. Mm -hmm. And there is uh, something that's termed proximal intercessory prayer and distal intercessory prayer. Proximal meaning you're right there with the person, you're touching the person. And that's been demonstrated to be more effective in healing. In fact, there was a case report, I think a husband and wife, um, the wife was suffering from macular degeneration, which can lead to, to blindness. Mm -hmm. uh, they were both praying, and then they both were overcome with just tears and emotion. Uh, again, proximal, they were touching, and all of a sudden she was healed of this macular degeneration. Wow. And uh, they were able to demonstrate uh, just really objective evidence just based on her um, eye doctor reports. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, this is the fourth segment, and that's when we talk about legacy. And now, it's time for the Talk Law Radio Legacy Spotlight. What's your legacy? <laughs> Sponsored by Marquardt Law Firm. So since Marquardt Law Firm focuses on business and estate law, mm -hmm. the central idea there is about legacy. Yes. Yeah. And so I like to ask our guests about legacy. Um, when you think about the work that you do, um, what, how would you describe your legacy or what you want your legacy to be? So I really look at it biblically. It's the legacy of faith. And what's been really rewarding during this faith walk for us is how we see our children. They are walking right along with us by faith. And it was very interesting. My son, I asked him, why, do you remember why we moved? And he was like, yeah, God said you should move. <laughs> and just that casual answer, that right. casual answer of faith, it helped me to realize that our children, they're always watching what we're doing. Yeah. And that right now we're sowing seeds into them at this young age of faith that it's okay to follow God. It doesn't matter what people say. If you hear from God and you do it, that's normal. Mm -hmm. And this legacy of faith that we're leaving in our children, it's, it's going to serve them far beyond our lifespan. And it's going to give them the confidence that they can look back in their life and see evidence that their parents walked with God and that they had a wonderful childhood, they had a wonderful life, so that my children aren't going to be dependent on the world for satisfaction or for just things. They will know that the most valuable thing is to walk humbly with God, is to follow um, the path that God has laid before them and to have that personal relationship with Christ. So I look at our life's work as we're combining our medicine with ministry, with our talents and gifts, and we're doing it all for the kingdom. It's, it's all for the harvest. And we, we even have a great story where we made some steps of faith and we had a friend who, they didn't understand what we were doing, but they saw they saw our, they saw what we were doing. They saw our faith, and they were so moved. They gave their life to Christ. Oh wow! And we just yeah, and, awesome. and we talked and talked about the Bible, the law, the this and that, yeah. and this mm -hmm. for years. And you know that's good. It's good to witness. But sometimes people need to see your faith to activate their. I love faith. that. Amen. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Amen. How about you, out of town? Well, just to tag along um, with that. I am thinking about scripture and how it says your obedience will be blessed, right? And we were obedient um, to God's calling to start uh, the ministry of the kingdom healthcare system. And we've seen so many blessings. We've seen financial blessings, but we've also seen that, that these blessings are um, translated to the next generation. And I really believe, and I know that God is a generational lesser. Mm -hmm. It's not just going to be our children, but it's going to be our children's children. And that's, Amen. that's why we're doing Tell this. Tell us, uh, what is the kingdom healthcare system? 
So the Kingdom Healthcare System is a nonprofit. It's a 501c3. And our goal is to share the healing ministry of Christ with all people. We want to be a physical example of God's love by taking care of their health care needs. And as I mentioned on a previous episode, health care and health insurance are very different. And we decided that we want to provide health care for those in need. So we have a free clinic the last Saturday of every month where we're able to do medication refills, um, physical exams. We, are, we also partner with the Texas Kidney Foundation where we can do free screenings um, to, to help identify possible kidney disease and give you the information to prevent your kidneys from failing. And we also have other community partners who are able to help patients get um, low cost medications or even free medications. And we partner with community resources that can give education on healthy eating, um, mm -hmm. prevention of domestic violence. And we just have a wide array of volunteers who are happy to serve. So doing this clinic the last Saturday of every month is really our way of advertising that, hey, we are here to help. And with your donations, this doesn't have to be just a once a month clinic. This can be a full time clinic, but we actually need people to support us. And you can visit us at kingdomdocs.com to learn more about our ministry and our private practice and our other, other services. And once again, that's kingdomdocs.com. D-O-C-S. <laughs> yes. Yeah, as in more than one doctor. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to ask about the, the kingdom healthcare system. Do they have to prove that they have a financial need when they show up at the door? No. So currently, we're able to see patients uh, on a walk-in basis, but it is better if you go to our website and, and register to be seen. Um, we do have an electronic medical record that can store information that help us accurately keep track of patients. But this is actually a free clinic. We partner with other nonprofit organizations that are really designed to help fill in the gap in health care. And once again, a lot of people just don't have access to health care. So we want to address that the best way that we can. And if you discover that somebody has a, a really complicated health care condition, what do you do then? Yeah. So the good thing is we're in the community practicing medicine, and we know a lot of doctors, and we know other resources. So there are other clinics that are currently able to provide more in-depth uh, care, such as imaging and labs. And we also have specialists who often can volunteer some of their time to see you. So I believe that the information that we provide, even if we can't address your specific health care concern um, in our clinic that day, we can actually point you in the right direction and save you a lot of time and frustration. Tell me about the marriage docs. <laughs> well, um, I think that was birthed through well, our, tell us what it is first. It's a marriage coaching um, program that we've developed. Yes, and we do it to help other couples get through rough areas. And we, we've we learned over our decade, almost 11 years. 11 years. Yeah, 11 yeah. years. You know, I'm losing count, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that there's ups and downs. And sometimes you may not want to go to a counselor. There's often a there may be some stigma or something associated with it. And sometimes you just want to talk to people who've been through what you've what you've done. So our coaching program is really just a friendly way of saying, hey, maybe you need more than a date night. Here's how to get over some of the common hurdles um, of marriage. And sometimes we do address some very challenging hurdles and we just rely on God's wisdom to help us work with couples. Yeah. Out of tone, how do you... How did you um, how did you get into that? How did it come to be? Well, honestly, I, I think it was from our own ups and downs in marriage. We're both physicians. We're both very busy, and you have to be very intentional with uh, nurturing your relationship, your marriage. Mm -hmm. If not, things just kind of get out of hand. And I can I tend to be a workaholic, I guess, right? And there are many different personality types out there, so. Um, my heart for people are very busy couples who don't really know how to navigate the hurdles of marriage. And um, it, it's something that's also, you know, biblically and spiritually inspired because in the Bible, it talks about doing life together. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need counseling, but other times you just need coaching and discipleship. And that's really what uh, this program is designed to do. 
That's great. Uh, we talked about it in my church one time, um, just to have some older couples around mm -hmm. and say, how did you have such a long marriage? That's it. Yeah. You know, just advice from other people. Yeah. I think it's something that we've done almost informally. And what you find is when you have a lot of experience and experience can lead to wisdom, my definition is um, I prefer wisdom so you don't have to get experience. So we want to give people wisdom before they have to experience it and learn how to get through it themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we've worked with other younger couples, and it's really been informal. And there's been a lot of aha moments. Oh, oh wow, that's not that unique. It's Everybody goes through that. Mm -hmm. And you're not alone in the problems or the struggles that you have. So if you feel overwhelmed, busy, and that you're just no longer connecting, you can contact us. You can visit us at kingdomdocs.com, and we can share some of our wisdom, and it's rooted on the Word of God. And do you do that in a non-judgmental way? Absolutely, because <laughs> we're, we're actually very transparent with uh, the clients that we coach about our struggles. Mm -hmm. Our struggles have been uh, transformed and redeemed into testimonies. Amen. And so in that stepwise process, we, we share our testimonies. People understand that, oh, wow, God delivered you from that. And I say, yeah, and he could deliver you too. And he can, he can redeem your marriage too. So it's not, it's not judgmental at all. You know, what I see next on the horizon is, uh, uh, docs for, uh, teaching you how to raise up your kids. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a six full time job and we can six. add more hours to the day. No, dealing with children can be difficult sometimes. It can be. And we're still learning, but absolutely. One thing that I've probably learned is yes, discipline is important, but also hearing your child out because. Yes. Um, they, they may have some complaints or some grievances, and we actually learned this from an older woman. Mm -hmm. And it's okay for them to air out their grievances in a respectful just manner. Just like Job, right? Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> just like Job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys for being on my show. Thank you. Thank for you so us. much. Yeah, I thank had a you. lot of fun. Yeah. We'll have to do this again. We would Until love. then, uh, you heard it here on Talk Law Radio. I'm Todd Marquardt, and I'll talk to you later. This has been Talk Law Radio with attorney Todd Marquardt, brought to you by the Marquardt Law Firm. You can learn more at MarquardtLawFirm.com. And be sure to listen to the full Talk Law Radio show Saturday mornings at 11 on 930 AM, The Answer. Each week, attorney Todd Marquardt talks about the law. His mission with the Talk Law Radio Show and Podcast is to help you discover your legal issue blind spots. In the beginning, God had one law. Don't eat from the fruit of that tree. Then came the Ten Commandments. Now we have federal, state, and municipal lawmakers that won't stop creating new laws. Laws that might impact you without you knowing it. Listen to the show and drop a line on Facebook or email host at talklawradio.com and let the Hosts know what you think of the show, the topics you want to hear, and whether you want to be a guest.